looks but i'm very satisfied with how it's looking right now i mean that definitely looks awesome <laughs> Hellcat J back here with another installation video. Uh, so today I'm doing another mod for my charger. Just a simple cosmetic mod. We put the louvers on a couple days ago. I'm loving them. They're nice and they're nice and solid. They haven't been going anywhere. That's my daughter. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, today we'll be doing a tail light tint kit. We're gonna be getting rid of this section right here. Well, blacking it out with a 5% tint kit. Also on the other side. I'll also be doing the side markers right here by the wheel and by the front wheel as well. The process should be pretty simple. Uh, you just need a few things. I'll show you guys how to do it. Um, so for the install, you need some sort of microfiber towel, some sort of cleaner. They recommend alcohol. I'm just gonna use Windex. It works just as well for me. Um, soapy water because this is a wet install and not a dry install. And uh, a heat gun or a hair dryer will work fine. I happen to have a heat gun, so that'll be what I'll be using. So yeah, let's give it a go. Okay guys, I got the first side done. It's looking pretty good. I mean, I don't think I did it perfectly perfect. There's a few little tiny imperfections, but overall, when you look from far away, you won't be able to tell. Um, hopefully I'll get better practice for the second side, but all in all, it looks pretty clean. I'm just kind of smoothing out um, as many imperfections as I can. But but there's no glaringly large bubbles or anything like that. Looks good to me. All right, so let's do the other side and then we'll go on to the side marker. And yeah, just like that. Heat it up for a little bit with the heat gun, maybe about 10, 15 seconds, I would say. That's enough to get it all hot. You'll start smelling the glue. <clears throat> and then come in with a tool. And just do like that.
All right, last one. Man, this heat gun is crazy. It gets super hot. Voila. <clears throat> okay, so as I was saying, there's some leftover residue. Um, that's pretty easy to remove. We're gonna be using this compound, chemical Goo Gone or Gooby Gone, whatever, that's what I was calling it. And essentially, we're just gonna wipe it with a cloth. Uh, it should definitely help remove the extra adhesive. So let me do that. Oh, that's way too much. Okay. So as you can see, just like that with the Gooby Gone, or Goo Gone, it just gets rid of that stuff super easy. Bam. You know, even if you wiped it with Windex or alcohol, it'd be a little pain in the butt to take off, but this chemical just really does the job perfectly for removing decals. Oops, I went over my vinyl. But yeah, so let's go back, take a look. Wow, I'm loving it. It definitely looks more aggressive than before. Nice. I'm super excited about that. <laughs> looks great. All right, so now we're gonna tackle the sideliners and it's basically the exact same process. So I kind of decided to give up on the <laughs> rear um, side marker and the front side marker because I just thought, first of all, it doesn't really fit the best I thought it was just going to be covering this side, but it actually goes around the corner here to cover that. And I guess, you know, that's all good and dandy, but it's hard to do. And the piece is the, the piece that came with the kit doesn't really fit the best. Just like I, I read some reviews online and, you know, some people were saying that and, ah, uh, you know, I, I decided to see for myself. But midway, I kind of had an epiphany. Like I plan on putting the wide body kit on this thing anyway. So... I'm not even gonna be having the same side markers. So I guess I'll just save, you know, the other side markers. Hopefully the wide body side markers are equivalent and I'll be able to put it on after. But really there's no point in putting them now. Anyways, <laughs> back to the back over here. This is after it all dried. I'm thinking it's looking great. I mean, it definitely gives it a more aggressive look and please forgive how dirty my car is i mean it's springtime here in jersey i literally hand washed my car yesterday and look how it's looking you can't win especially with a black car during the springtime and i have this tree here in my house that just gets rid of these things and i want to cut it down because that's annoying and i don't want to deal with that but yeah i'm very satisfied with the taillight tin kit as you can see here, I definitely did better the second time around. It looks a lot smoother than the other side. Uh, this side's not so bad. You can hardly notice. Just a small little tiny, I guess, like imperfections on this side. But overall, I mean, it looks great to me. So I'll be taking a video later of how it looks at nighttime. Show you how the uh, brake lights and the re reverse lights look. But it, it's looking really good. I might... Let me see. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's looking great. But yeah, YouTube, I'll get you back on the next video when we do it at night just to see how it looks. But I'm very satisfied with how it's looking right now. I mean, that definitely looks awesome.